So, hi students, we are come back. So, today we are discussing about the position of fixed asset and the method 2. So, method 2 is about reducing balance method. So, for this method, the formula is the first thing that we need to find is cost minus our accumulate depreciation. Then we will got the answer which is our net book value. So once you got your net book value, then we use our net book value to times our depreciation rate. So after you times it, then you got your depreciation amount. So after this, then we will see some example about reducing balance method. Okay, so for the example, a business owner bought some equipment in 2014. So now in 2014, I have some equipment, which is cost 20,000. And the business say that they provide the depreciation rate, which is 10%. Now the question asks you to calculate the depreciation until 2016. So from 2014 to 2016 is around 2 years. So we need to calculate 2 years depreciation. So, the first thing that we need to do is, we calculate the first year which is 2015. So, how we calculate 2015? Because it's the first year, so we just use the cost to times the percent. So, we use 20,000 to times 10 percent, then we will got the answer which is 2000. So this is for the first year. So when you got the first year, then we need to calculate the answer that they want, which is 2016, the second year. So how we calculate for this? We need to use our cost to minus the last year depreciation, which is 2000. Then we got our net book value. So we got the answer which is 18,000. So now we use the 18,000 because this 18,000 is our net book value to times the percentage. Which is 10%. So 18,000 times 10%, we got the answer which is 1,800. So this is how you calculate from the 2014 to 2016 because this business we just started so we just use the cost to time the depreciation rate which is 20,000 to times 10% then we got the first year depreciation which is 2,000 so after that then we need to calculate the answer that the question 1 which is 2016 so the second year then we use the cost to minus the last year depreciation which is 2,000 then we got a net book value so when you got the net book value then you just then you just use the net book value to times the percentage, you got the final answer.